Hey guys, it's the Pink King here. Well, hell of a boss just uploaded a new episode. So did you really think I was going to miss it? Yeah, hell of a boss apology tour was released a few hours ago. And although I am horribly sick at the moment, my brain feels like mush. I'm still going to talk about it because there's a lot to talk about here. And if you want to know what I thought of the episode before, because it will be important to this review, then go watch it. It's in the playlist now with my other hell of a boss video, so go watch it now. Now, before we go over anything, just like before, I want to give big props to the team at Spindle Horse first off for the release schedule. They're now doing basically an episode a month now, and it's great to finally see this series be consistent in upload schedules already. A great thing to see shows that they finally got their stuff together and are, are functioning more fluently as a studio. So that's great to see. But enough of schedules. What did I think of this episode itself? Well, last episode had a good cliffhanger, so surely this one could build off the previous episode's ending. Surely they would. No. They ruined it. Again. Yeah, this is one of those type of episodes. For me, I found this episode to be good in the beginning, but bad mainly, because of a few stupid decisions they make in this episode that ultimately ruined it. First off, I actually really appreciate this story. It's finally about Blitzo. He's the main character of this episode, not Stolas, no pointless side plots that ultimately mean nothing. This is Blitz's story through and through. Finally, because we've never really had a episode before where Blitz is the focus all the way through. Yeah, despite him being the main character of the show, he's not had a main episode to his name where it's just his story. And so, with that considered, it does pretty well at first. I really enjoyed how we got more insight into Blitzo's head, with him trying to apologise but not really having a clue how to do it, and his whole apology tour itself. It was a lot of fun watching Blitzo go around trying to apologise to people when he doesn't really know how to do it. It was quite enjoyable and the animation was really well done here. To me, Blitz's story here works so well in these moments. But only these moments. One thing I realised while watching this was that all the things that this episode is doing should work. Like all the stuff they're doing should really be getting to me, really make me invested into what's going on. But I'm not. I started thinking why. And I think I cracked down why. We have the right execution, but no build up. The reason why I ultimately didn't care was because they didn't really give us a reason to care. Blitz's whole thing this episode is that he has no idea how to apologise. But why? We have never seen why Blitz struggles with apologies. Sure we know he does, considering the amount of people who hate him and the apology tour itself. But we don't understand why he can't. There's no scenes before going over why Blitz can't apologise to people, or what caused him to not be able to apologise, and what's holding him back from apologising, and why it's so hard for him. We never showed any of that, so ultimately they're trying to pay off something that, that doesn't even exist. Hence why he works in moments, but not as a whole, because the writing is still missing a big piece of the puzzle, and so ultimately feels shallow and unearned. And possibly... The worst part of this episode, and ultimately, the thing that ruined this episode for me, is the fact that Blitz doesn't grow. Yeah, despite this story being perfectly built to grow and evolve Blitz as a character, to have him finally understand other people's feelings by apologising, but in the end, he never makes the apology! To Stolas. So not only does it not progress or grow his character, it ultimately feels like we've wasted our time since basically nothing new happens and the story is in the same spot as it was before. But some of you might say, oh, Blitz does grow because he sees all the people he's hurt. Only problem with that. The fact that we've already seen this before. It happened all the way back with Blitzo and Fizzaroli. We see how Blitz reacts to people he's hurt. So ultimately, it's nothing special seeing it again here. Especially considering that most of these people who we hurt in this episode are background characters. Who we don't even know the names to. You see the problem? 
They had the perfect opportunity to finally have Blitz develop as a character, to finally make us invested in him as a character and want to see him more, but it ultimately falls flat on its face once again. I'm not even saying Stolas has to accept the apology or anything. Hell, I think it would have been stronger if they had Blitz finally apologize honestly and for Stolas to still not ultimately not forgive him. Not only does that grow Blitz, but it also develops Stolas, who throughout the episode ultimately serves no purpose other than to make Blitz feel guilty while singing. But if they included what I suggested, it adds development to Stolas from all the times we he's let Blitz treat him like dirt, it would have finally given him a backbone. Not only would that be stronger narratively, but it's far more realistic than just some guy coming out of nowhere to steal Stolas when the plot calls for it. The only character in this episode who truly develops is Ferocica, a girl who hasn't been in an episode for two years. Hasn't been in an episode for two years and yet still gets growth, but not the main character. Are you serious right now? And it's not even like something big. Ferocica just gives Blitz advice, genuine advice. That's it. But at least it's something, you know what I mean? In conclusion, the biggest problem of this show continues. That being how this show has no idea what it wants to be. Does it want to be an episodic series about demons who are hired to kill people on Earth? A show about demons versus angels who are working with the government and a battle between two afterlifes? Or a love story between, ultimately, people of different classes be in a world of demons as well, with overarching themes that span every episode? This show is trying to do all those things at once, and so ultimately accomplishes none of it. And to me, that's the worst part about this show, that it's genuinely got a great concept. It has a fantastic concept for the episodic format, but ultimately decided to waste it by trying to, to pretend it's something it's not. This episode gets an average 4 out of 10. It's nothing special and ultimately moves the story nowhere. But what did you guys think of this episode? Do you agree with my opinions or do you not? Leave them in the comments. And with that, I'll see you all, hopefully when I'm healthier, next time.